with things being what they are today, okay, uh, with this virus and everything else, I'm sure there's a lot of people sitting at home um, and, and, and quite bored, so to speak. But you should have a lot of time on your hands to start doing your own rigging of your tackle if you're not already. What I'm going to show you is a tuna trap or a mouse trap, and what it is, it's a, a hook that's going to be hidden inside of a butterfish when you're chunking for tuna. Um, now you could use circle hooks or J hooks or whatever, but I'm going to show you how to make this trap and why you should use some on particular days. All right. Now what this is, this is a 9174 Mustad. I'm going to put that band right on it like that. This is 13 inches of 275 pound test cable with a 220 pound mini stainless swivel. Okay. So what you're going to do, you've got the band on it, the hook, you're going to hold the cable just like that. You're going to make a loop and then you're going to make another loop. Okay. So now at this point with the other hand, you grab that loop, the two of them, you wrap it around and you turn it so that the loops are parallel to the shank of the hook. At this point, you're just going to take it the hook shank and the cable loops. You're gonna pinch them. You're gonna take your band, all right? Now hold it right there and slide it up, okay? And now you have a tuna trap, all right? Now the whole idea behind this particular rig, as you, a lot of you already know, this is gonna be hidden inside the butterfish, okay? and you're going to attach 30, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader right, to this mini swivel, all right, which is going to result in a lot more landed fish. Because if you just take 30, 40 pound fluorocarbon and tie it to this hook, you're going to get more bites on those days that the tuna are extremely line shy, but you're not going to be able to land a whole lot of those fish, right, because you know, the tuna is just going to go right through that fluorocarbon. But with this, right, what happens is, once this is hidden inside the butterfish, you've got it over the side. Once you get a pickup and a runoff, okay, this is all inside the fish now. Once you decide, you know, he's run off long enough and you lock your reel up, okay, when this hook fetches up inside of the tuna fish, right, you're going to put tension on it and it's going to pop out just like that. Right? So now, instead of having 30, 40 pound fluorocarbon hanging out of its mouth, you're going to have 12 inches of 275 pound cable. You're going to land a lot more fish. But as you can see, this is quite easy to do. And it's something you could do, you know, uh, uh, in the off season or whatever. And you could have a half a dozen of these on the boat. If you need them. All right. Now it's not a one-time rig. Okay. Once you get this fish in the boat and this comes out, you could see it like that. Now with dry hands, all right, you're gonna take this and just do it exactly the way we did in the beginning. All right, just fold it over like that. It's a little bit tougher because it's all bent up and whatnot, but the cable is definitely, you can reuse it and do it the same way. And the odds are you're not gonna lose that band either. Right? There you go.